Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn off anti malware service executable task on your Windows computer. So, this is a task attributed to Windows Defender. And if you've already turned off Windows Defender and you notice that the anti malware service executable continues to run in Task Manager, this tutorial will hopefully address these problems for you guys relatively quick. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you just want to left click on it one time to open it up and now you want to type in task scheduler and the best match that comes up should say task scheduler right above desktop app. You want to left click on it one time to open it up. So now I'm going to expand this task scheduler library folder right here by either double clicking on it or clicking on the little arrow next to it. Now I'm going to do the same for the Microsoft folder. Now the same for Windows. I'm going to make this view a little bit wider. And now I'm going to go down to Windows Defender right here. So now I'm going to blow this up full screen. Should be a few different items in here. You want to double click on each one of these. You want to uncheck the box where it says run with highest privileges and then go underneath the conditions folder or the conditions tab and then uncheck these boxes here. So if this is start the task only with computers on AC power, uncheck that. Click on OK and you want to do that for each one of these. So again, uncheck the run with highest privileges as well as any boxes that are checked underneath conditions. And like I said, you want to do that for each of these. So in my case, there's four of them here. And you guys see exactly what we're doing here, so if you want to ever re-enable it, it's not that big of a deal. And now that we've done that for all four of them, you should be able to close out of Task Scheduler. I'd recommend restarting your computer, and you shouldn't have any more issues with the anti malware servers executable. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.